Some girls like to receive jewelry on their birthday. Some girls ask for Gucci or Prada. My girl wanted a Vesper Watchmate 8000 AIS transponder with a VHF splitter. My name is Ed. I'm an ex-musician, turned politician, turned accountant, who now imagines himself a sea captain. This is Lynn. She's an ex-model, retired photographer, and the love of my life. Three years ago, we bought a boat. No experience and completely clueless. Since then, we have traveled over 10,000 miles along the Atlantic coast and the Bahamas. Join us as we continue the adventure, exploring exciting places, meeting new people, and having the time of our lives while trying not to sink. What we have here is uh, the Vesper. Uh, it's a transponder um, AIS system. It's the uh, their 8000. Oh, there we go. It's their 8000 AIS, uh, which is a, a transponder. In other words, it will pick up uh, signals from other boats, and we will send out our signal as well so we can be identified. Uh, it is the model that will transmit through Wi-Fi, so that way we can hook it up to the tablets, and we can hook it up to um, our chart plotter, our Furuno, if we want to hook it up to the uh, NEM2000 backbone. And we also got the splitter to hook it up to the main uh, VHF antenna. And uh, well, hopefully we got everything we need. And of course, uh, of course, this comes with installation. Good, because I wouldn't know how to do it. Yay! You can follow us now. Woohoo! Remember when I said it was a sauna up here last week? It's still a sauna. Okay, well, no, all the electronics, fortunately there's a big area underneath this uh, upper helm here uh, that I can crawl into, and I'm going to go in and see what I can find, and uh, see if I can find a nice electrical hookup and a nice place to mount these things. So, we'll see. Yeah, this is, uh, this is the doghouse I've become too. Okay, well, let's see. As you can see, there's a, a lot of electronics down here, and a lot of it I think is just ancient. And in fact, there's some of it I just don't know what it does. But I can tell you one thing about these old hatters is what a lot of people did were they, um, they're 32 volt boats, but a lot of people switched them over to 12 volt. And as you can see here, I've got like one, two, three, four, five inverters which turn 32 volts to 12 volts. I have no idea why there's so many. I know that one over here to the side is dedicated to the wipers because it has a little sticker on it. And I know this one all the way to the right is for uh, the radio. Uh, this big one in the middle is a 35 amp and there's like four things hooked to it. I've never bothered to trace the lines. And I have no idea what that other one does either or the one on the bottom. Now, I know at some point they probably ran some of the electronics that used to be up top, which I've replaced mostly with, um, with tablets. So I think there's a, lot of, uh, there's a lot of extra power up here. Um, I suspect one of them runs this North Star, which I don't use anymore. Um, but anyway, uh, not really uh, important for us to figure that out right now. What I have determined though is this one to the far side here is a 15 amp inverter and the only thing it is running is the VHF radio. And it has a nice uh, sufficiently thick wire running from it over to the radio, which is up here. I don't know if you guys can see that. Let me turn the light a little bit. There's the radio. And what I'm going to do is uh, set up a little, uh, maybe a little bus bar. Um, to wire off the electrical connection so that some of it goes to the radio and the rest goes to the AIS system. And it appears like I should have some room right about here on the ceiling of this space to, to mount the fixtures. And um, I think I'll switch over to a more wide angle camera. You may not be able to hear me as well, but uh, hopefully you'll be able to see a little better. Okay, so maybe that's slightly better as far as being able to see. Let me kind of bring some light over. Maybe that'll help. Okay, so we have a, there's a kind of a dead space here. 
and there's it's hollow above it so I should be able to mount the units there this is uh, the current wire running from the um, from that inverter and I'm going to put some kind of a bus bar or something to split it apart up there but let me just see how things are going to fit uh, hey Lynn can you hand me the uh, the best bar Well, give me one first. Let me just see. I could, could probably say maybe mount this here. That would probably work. And then how big is that splitter? Okay. And then maybe I can put the splitter right there underneath of it and see how that goes. Okay. Well, let me get started. Vibrating, so I don't know if you're hitting something. Now it's white. That would be like a brand new white one. Unless he doesn't have it through and there's a layer on the top. There was a clothes hanger thing on it or no? Yeah. Okay. You get a chance to get some uh, paper towels and stuff. I installed an inline fuse for added protection and a larger terminal block because I plan to install the optional alarm and power switches in the future. I'll come back and add ring terminals at that time. I have the, uh... All the equipment installed and I just downloaded their Watchmate app and uh, it's kind of a just a simple black and white drawing here um, you can see right now all the various boats in the area uh, we are here at the dot and there's a boat coming up named Red Hook it's one mile out heading in our direction and down here there's a whole bunch of boats we're in a kind of a commercial area so there's tugboats and things down there you know I can get the name of that one's whatever <laughs> and uh, you know there's some boats that are close by to us this is uh, probably freedom you know freedom elite which is here at our marina now I do have it set up to work also with navionics and so far I'm kind of getting a feel for this it's not overwhelming me let's see here this is uh, see it's giving me the number the registration number of the boat but the name is not always popping up you know, here's here's the elite next to us okay that one the name did pop up so um, and here's a boat across the way you nope know, just giving me the number um, anyway it is working it's just not you know giving me all the information that I can get if I go to the regular app here and I click on let's say oh, let me click on this boat right here I can swipe this up and get more information about the boat well, anyway, I'm going to spend a little bit of time learning how to use the apps, uh, learning how to use it with Navionics, and then uh, perhaps even try a couple of other programs that have been recommended that uh, it does the overlay for. But so far, I'm happy. It took us about uh, a couple hours to install it. Everything worked right off the bat, and um, it should be fun. I mean, we're sitting here in a marina now. It's not very useful, but it's going to be very useful when we're on the road or on the water. Especially overnight. Yeah, so uh, so I gotta you know do a little research about how to project you know and uh, collision avoidance things like that that are uh, that will come in handy. Well, anyway, cool. I'm happy. I'm happy. No, let's, go if, <laughs> let's go see if Red Hook's the, going by. Okay, <laughs> and then you know if the first mate is happy, everyone's happy. Okay. So yeah, according to this, there's a, a boat heading our way, 
about a half mile out, which I can't really see from here. I'll go up for home. Yeah, let's go up for home and see if we can find it. Nice black. And and, oh, there it is. So there she be. And there she is. There's Red Hook, uh, just as predicted, passing this by here. So altogether, we're, we're, we're very, very pleased. Um, our total investment in this came to uh, just over $900. And that included the unit itself, and then we also got the splitter that would split the uh, the cable coming down from the VHF antenna. That way, uh, you don't need to install another antenna. You just take the, uh, the regular VHF, split it off, send it to your your radio, and the other half goes to your to this uh, to the Vesper. And that also included a new GPS antenna, which I put up top. I'm not sure why it needed that. I already have two other ones up there, but I don't know where the wires are going. So it's just easier to put a new one up there. So um, yeah, that's it. So uh, you know, we're still learning it. We're going to learn the apps and learn how to use it. Uh, if you guys have any advice for us, if you have this uh, system and you've learned a few tips, let us know. If you have other systems, you know, you let us know about that too. Um, but meanwhile, we're excited. Roger out. Roger out.